Today on Karamo. So your sex life is not happening. He grabs Mike up and throws it outside. He thinks she's cheating. These women today, they're sneaky, yeah. bro. They know how to hide stuff. Them girl trips to Jamaica and Las Vegas, those ain't really girls' trips. What will be found on her phone? We need to figure this out today, because I'm not going to be dealing with this no longer. But first. She tried to swing, like, swing tried to you. swing on me. Oh, my god. She's ready to give up on her daughter. It's like, what do you want? What I say you do. And everyone's true feelings are about to come out. Do you regret having a daughter? You, I, I, uh... If she was a boy, she'd probably be better. Can anything save this family? I don't got no help. Like, what the do you want me to do? My guest, Keishana, says she's ready to sign away her parental rights if her 14-year-old daughter doesn't change her behavior. Things got so heated with Kaylee, Keishana says the police asked her if she wanted to press charges against her own daughter. Please welcome Keishana to the show. Hi, how are you doing? Can I have a hug? Nice to meet you. Um, this hair is cute. Thank you. I left a little wavy situation. <laughs> so I know we're here for something serious. Yes. Um, tell me, when did you start having the problems with Kaylee? Um, it started last year. Um, I currently was looking for a house, so we was in a shelter during this time. Uh -huh. And she just blew off the rip. Um, one of the people that, you know, because we stayed there with other people. Yeah. So as we there, they was, they must have touched her soda or a, a ice cream or something. I forgot what it was. Uh -huh. And out the gate, she went in the room. It's only a room. We share a room. So she yeah. went in the room. I don't, um, they always touching my stuff. I'm like, hey, we'll just get dressed. We can go to another store. It's only 8 o'clock. Yeah. You know, don't blow up. We, you well, know, we in the shelter. At. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they always touching my stuff. Mm -hmm. So I go out, I ask the worker, um, hey, is there something else that y'all got in there for my daughter to drink before I go to the store? Oh, no, well, you know, you can leave to go get something. That's what, that what blew her off. I shouldn't have to get nothing and this and that. So now I'm trying to calm her down. She bucking at me, bucking at me. I'm like, hold on. Oh, so at yeah. this point, yeah. I'm yeah. like, what's, what's going on? And she tried to swing, like actually swing tried on to you. swing on me. Oh, my God. And the, the people at the, at the shelter, they had to call the police because there's other family members there. Uh-huh. And if they feel like I can't control you being your mom, yeah, how you can't come. Control them. That makes sense. Yes. Is Kayla your only child? Yes, only one. Wow. Okay, so it's just you two. Yes. Got it. Is her father involved at all? No. Not at all. He been left as the, when I was pregnant. He went to jail when I was five months pregnant. When he, when he got out, she was three. Mm. And he got married to when she was four, so. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. I, I try to give her the benefit of the doubt. And now that she see that I haven't whooped her, it's like she she feel like she can whoop my ass. Mm. She feel like she the, she the, she the parent. Mm. I tell her something, I don't got to do that it's, it's just that. I tell her to go to school. I'm not going to school. Um, This was just last week. The welfare people called me. Um, I got to do a welfare check on Kaylee. She haven't been to school in a week. Mm. And from your perspective, you thought she was going to school. Hey, Every mom, day. I'm going to school in the morning. Then she'll put her phone on D&D. Okay, at 415, she'd turn it back on as if she was in school. Mm -hmm. She able to talk. Okay, that makes sense. My gosh, she's going through a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Is it hard to discipline Kaylee? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's very hard. Has it always been that way? No. She was, she was a, a, a great kid. I don't know where my daughter at. That's not my daughter. Yeah, It's yeah. not. How long ago did it start? It started... Um, I say last year. Last year, so it's been about a year. Because after the after the um after the shelter, we moved to Mississippi, uh -huh. and it got worse. Got it. Got we it. was in a whole another state. You know, it's down south. It's very different down there. So she got to the point where she really wasn't listening to me. Got wasn't, it. Wasn't she? Don't think she can do stuff. And um, I'm not going to Milwaukee. I asked her to get. I, I say, well, um, okay. Well, since you want to like boys and and do all that, get on birth control. I'm not doing that. The, the doctor said I don't have to. You heard what they said. Um, if your daughter don't want to get it, then she don't have to. Oh, you have to. I mean, I'm not gonna be no old young grandmama. Yeah. Oh, you can go. Is she disrespectful to other people? Oh yeah, very. 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 Yeah. You can go. Yeah. My producer told me that you called the detention centers. Oh yeah. This week to put her away there. Tell me about that. She was so disrespectful. I just couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. She was too disrespectful. So I called them. They ain't had no room that day. They was gonna call. They was gonna call me back. So the day that I talked to your producers, just so happened they called me. I had just told like, hey, they they called me. It's a spot for her. I think that's where she gonna go. If we leave this show today and and can't nothing change, that's where you gonna have to go. A free bed. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. I ain't gotta worry about nothing. But at least and we okay. Go somewhere. I pick and choose when I wanna come see you. Mm. 
Mm. But you ain't finna pick and choose when you want to leave my house, when you want to listen to me, when you want to play mama role or 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 be a teenager. You not finna pick which one. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what you finna do. You gonna do exactly what I say when I say it. Got it. I understand. I understand. So my producer said you gave them a list of some things you wanted me to see. Yes. What is this list? You told the show um, you're ready to give Kaylee up a yes. piece. Um, that you call the detention center. Um, that you'll slap the blank out of Kaylee if pushed. Yeah. And is she too light skinned to whoop her? That's why. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because if I hit her, she she have a bruise. Mm -hmm. And Got that's it. another reason why it, it, everybody asks me, why you just don't hit her? Why you? I, I'm scared to whoop her. She already too big, and then it's, I, I don't know where I hit her at. Mm -hmm. You Got make it. me so mad. Who finna just aim for an ass? Got and it. your Got mouth it. running. All right, so everyone, let's hear what Kaylee has to say about everything. Please welcome Kaylee to the show. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. Thank you for being here. How do you feel about what you just said? Now I kind of understand, but it's like, it's just a lot from both sides, and some of it wasn't told correctly. Okay. So what, what part wasn't told? What was not told? Your mom was asking. Um, so... Talk louder. What part was a lie? The shelter part. So in the shelter, you did not disrespect her? So you, you didn't did disrespect me at the shelter? I did, but it wasn't as she told it. It was like most so both sides. She didn't go ask the worker that they have something else to drink. She was sitting there talking about the oh situation. Mm -hmm. And I was on the phone being silent over there mad. And she kept going and kept going. She kept pushing the situation. So I finally said something back. And we just started arguing. And I was like, shut up, shut up. Put on my <laughs> And I went outside. Got it. And then that's when the police got called because when I went back inside, sat in the living room, I had swung on her because she kept talking about the situation. She walked up on me. OK. So that's the story your mother described, though. What yeah. part of it is different? Um, I just feel like it's different from my perspective. Okay, and I'm ready to hear it. What part? Because I'm trying to like make sure I hear your side as well. The talking part, I feel like she say respect goes both ways. It's like you if you act like a bitch, that's what you're gonna be caught. You can't just keep. I say, I say, here. yeah. She, she, she wanna. Let's let's just put the out here now. Now you playing crazy. Why do you think your mother is frustrated with you? Because I remind her of herself when she was younger. She's ready to give up on her daughter. It's like, what do you want? What I say you do. Can anything save this family? I don't got no help. Like, what the f do you want me to do? Stay tuned. When did you start having problems with Kaylee? Um, it started last year. She just blew off the rip. So now I'm trying to calm her down. She bucking at me, bucking. At me. I'm like, hold on. Oh, so at yeah. this point, yeah. I'm yeah. like, what's what's going on? And she tried to swing, like actually swing tried to you. swing on me. Oh my god. How do you feel about what you just said? I just feel like it's different from my perspective. It's like you if you act like that's what you're gonna be caught. Let's let's just put the out here. Now now you playing crazy. I be calling her bitches sometimes. I be like, what the you who finna keep saying, hey Kaylee, just calm down. No bitch, what the wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Yo bitch ass think you wrong. That's how the I talk to her. That's the truth. So you're saying the only reason that you swung is because she stepped to you first and you felt like you had to protect yeah, yourself? Yeah, and I kept telling her to move. Kept okay. telling her. I reinversed it like two, three times. Okay. And she never moved. I'm like, Haley. I'm like, Haley, come on, let's just go to the store. Let's just go to the store. Put your stuff on. Put your stuff on. Nah, move, move, move. At this point, I'm telling her to come on. She's, now she, now you see what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. When I'm telling you to do something, you want to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. But when you was just ready to go drink your, your soda that was in that refrigerator, you was ready to go to the store. Now that I'm ready to, okay, if this is what you're mad about, let's go buy some more. Mm -hmm. Now you don't want to go to the store because you want to sit here and keep yelling and, and get into it. Mm. And you waited until that white person walked in, this, in, the, in the living room for when she tried to swing on me. Mm -hmm. She knew if there wasn't nobody in there, I would have tore a hole in her ass. Mm -hmm. Why do you think your mother is frustrated with you? I don't know. I don't know if it's because I remind her of herself when she was younger or, or like. Oh! Oh! It's true. It's okay. true. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Yeah, 
even though I don't think I act like that. I don't even think I'm disrespectful at all. Oh, I tell her, you very disrespectful. I wonder where I get it from. Yeah. That's all she said. That's her favorite word. Oh, do you say that? That's her yeah. favorite word. I wonder uh -huh. why you don't get that from me. Uh-huh. Okay. So you, you, you do you feel like you get your behavior from your mother? I feel like I get she my... She around with hoes all day. Younger than her. Mm. That's where she get it from, because them hoes ain't got respect for their <laughs> mama. I don't mm. act like them at all. And she even know that. She know I'm not a bad child. All she day not. I sit at home in my room watching movies on the phone. Yeah. Every time I come out, I get yelled at. If I stay in my room, I get yelled at. It's like, what do you want? Yeah. Is that true? I'm gonna tell you why I do that. You stand in your room, you, you stand in your room all day, you don't come out cook, clean, you, do, you don't help me do nothing, you won't even prepare the food. I tell her to wipe the stove, she wipe half of the stove. This is the side that I'm using, so this is the side that I'm a wife. Who do that? Is that true? Do you do that? No, I did that one time. Why did you skip Sometime, school this month? Because my hair wasn't dead. Mm. And if I was to go to school with the little boys, there they'll like pick, like they'll try to pull off your hood or pull off my scarf. And I'm not gonna be the type of person to sit there and just let somebody do that. I already know it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Because why? Like, I just wasn't finna do that or go through that. Be nobody laughing stock. How did your mom react when she found out? She was mad. And I was telling her, I was like, well, my hair wasn't dead. She missed I, 10 days up there in Mississippi. I automatically go to jail for 30. You already at 14 days. You go to you at go any to, at any point of time this day, jail. they can come pick me up because you ain't been to school because your hair ain't done. You go to jail Who after be 50 mad? days that a child that's has not been saying. at school. Well, it's after 50 days, so you, you want to count these days up? Is you, you counting the days ask. up for me to go to jail or what? You could. If I'm ask. telling you it's 14, well, it's only 55, so you got 20 more days to miss. Have you ever run away from home before? Um, one or two times, but it wasn't home. It was actually from her, not from home. When we went to Milwaukee, one time I had run away from her. Out, out the of car, the car at the lights. Okay, you telling the truth. Out of the car, because I think we were talking about going back home, and I was like, well, I don't want to go back home. Oh, she wasn't ready to go home. So, I, only got, I don't even got a half a tank of gas, and you telling me when the f you want to go? Mm -hmm. If this only gas talk. I got to get us back there where we live at, oh, who finna stay down here? Because you, you want to stay down here. You, what you want to do down here? Got you don't it. got no job. I don't listen to you. Where is where we going to sleep at down here? Yeah. If our shelter all the way 45 minutes away. It's not up to you. You're not grown. Once again, we what had, I say you do. We had everywhere to sleep. She got friends, family. Who want to keep sleeping? I'm already sleeping else. in the shelter. I don't even want to be at. Who want to keep sleeping up, up, by other people's houses? I don't even want to be at the shelter. My name's so bad with evictions, I can't even find a house with 1,500 behind my name. That's why we moved to Mississippi. Mississippi, I moved, I got right there, I got there, got a house, got her in school. She want to play crazy, get a little boyfriend. Now this is where she really going crazy at. She know we 12 hours away. It's just me and her down there. We moved. It's just me and her, nobody else, and whoever else we done met down there. Mm -hmm. You got these people in my business. I got in Diamond Court December 5th. December 5th from Mississippi. I had to pay $3,000 to get out of jail. How long were you in there for? For six days. Six so days. she was there by herself. The police locked me up. They didn't ask if I had somebody to watch her or nothing, so that's how CPS got in Yeah. But CPS knew she was old enough to stay at home by herself. So when I finally got out, paid the money, finally got out. So that month, September, we ain't had I ain't pay rent. That's why we had to move to Mississippi, too. I'm two months behind rent, and the rent only 167. But I can't get a break if I gotta pay these months two different bills, bonds, but still make sure we eat. You gotta go to school. You need shoes and clothes. We got light gas. Man, dog, like hell no, nah, bro. I don't got no help. Like, what the f do you want me to do? We struggling, bro, and she not making it no better. You can't just go off yelling. Is there any way this relationship can be healed? Do you regret having a daughter? I, I, uh, if she was a boy, she'd probably be better. You won't believe how this conversation plays out. I'm going to be very real. Stay tuned. Why do you think your mother is frustrated with you? I don't know. I don't know if it's because I remind her of herself when she was younger or... Like, oh! Have you ever run away from home before? 
um, one or two times, but it wasn't home. It was actually from her, not from home. Once again, what I say you do. Man, dog, like hell no, nah, bro. I don't got no help. Like what the do you want me to do? And you still on my ass about a hair, a shoe, a phone. And we and we struggling, bro, and she not making it no better. Yeah. And then you want to play crazy. Yeah, I'd rather give you up and sign my rights over if this is how you're going to treat me. How does it make you feel when your mother says that? Like she wants to call attention to Um, At first, I was like getting sad and emotional about it, but she, as she. No my mama, no way. You care. don't treat me like mama. Tell them the truth. Tell them. Because I'm going to tell them. That wasn't what I said. What else you want me to do? If I know if I'm going to come out my room, you're going to yell at me. Mm -hmm. So why would I? We don't have family time or nothing. We don't talk. We don't watch movies, TVs. We don't even, we'd probably text each other and we'd be in the next room. What just and made we, you start crying right there? Huh? What just made you start crying right there? Because, like, now that I'm finally on this show, it's like I really get to realize how she acts. And it's like she's not even giving me a scenario of why. I don't know. What do you want your mother to understand? Um, I want her to understand that, like, I, I will be there to help. I will help every time you ask, but it's like, you can't just go off yelling. Do you regret having a daughter? You, I, I, uh, mm. If she was a boy, she'd probably be better. Because he'll be, he'll be able to be freely. You know, he, he a boy, he can go outside and you can run away. I ain't got to really watch you and put... You know, you can you can do stuff that what she trying to do. But that's I can't the thing. Just let, when she I just say let run you away, off the leash. she know exactly the where I go. The streets say eat you she up and chew you out and everything. So let me tell y'all something because I'm gonna be very real. This entire time that I've been on the stage, I've been fighting back tears, and it's because as I'm watching you two, I understand both of your perspectives so clearly. I understand what you feel as a young girl. Um, I've seen some wild, wild teenagers. You're not it. It, do you have a mouth on you? Yes, and you know it. Do you make decisions of like not going to school that can put things in jeopardy? Yes, you know it. But I also understand you as a parent. And I understand when you are drowning and the one person you like, don't you realize I'm doing this for you? Is you feel like it's making it harder. Yes, I feel like I gotta lash out. Yes, I'm gonna be upset. Yes, I'm mad that you don't jump up as quick as I can. I'm doing everything I can can't you see that I'm moving here and there to make sure we're supported? Mm -hmm. I get you as well. And that's what's been making me so emotional because I understand both of your perspectives. And I also see the love here, even through the way y'all talk to each other. I'm sure you're probably thinking like my mama, they really don't love me though. I'm sure you feel that way sometimes. Like, does she really care about me? Yeah. And I also know for you as a parent, you like all these things I'm doing is to show you that I love you. But you're also exhausted. I'm your daughter, tired. Yeah, your daughter just said she doesn't know if, you, she sometimes doesn't know if you really love her. Take everything else out of the equation. Do you love your daughter? Yeah. You know I love you. I've been loving you. This is what I want to do. I want to help you not to drown. So you said you need money for, for uh, a deposit for a house. I got you. I'm going to pay you. I'm going to give you cash. I'm going to give you money. I'm not joking. You said you need money for to get your credit and stuff together. I'm going to pay for it. 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 Do you accept it? Yeah. Good. It's yours. I promise your daughter and you can have a good relationship. Do you want a good relationship with your mom? Tell her. I want a good relationship with you. I want to be back how we was. Yeah, me too. You do. Give your daughter a hug. Give your daughter a hug. <laughs> I wish y'all the best of luck. I'm gonna give you that support, and I'm gonna be here for you if you need anything, all right? All right? Stay with us, friends, we'll be right back. He grabs Mike up and throws it outside. It's one relationship in complete turmoil. So your sex life is not happening. It was very, very depressing for me. I ended up- Don't cry now, girl, you threw my tissue. I'm sorry. Don't, don't cry now, girl, let me- so kind of. You are 
Alex says he found his girlfriend, Janiyah, texting multiple men in her phone. So he broke up with her by telling her mother. After a year apart, Alex and Janiyah got back together. But he feels like there is something she is not telling him. So she is here to unlock her phone to prove her innocence. Everyone, please welcome Janiyah to the show. How are you doing? May I have a hug? Mm. Janine, you, you look so beautiful. Good, I do. Thank you. Yes. You look beautiful. Thank you. Let me see this. It come through. Okay. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. So, how long have you two been together? Um, all together six years. Nice. And how's it been during that time? We have our good times. Okay. We have rough times. So, why did you break up? He thought that I was texting other men. Um, I wasn't. I have multiple friends. I am adopted, so I have multiple brothers and sisters. I have a big family. So he's constantly always asking questions. Mm -hmm. um, who's this? Who's that? I've never heard you talk about this person. You haven't hung out with this person. I'm not going to hang out with everybody. Yeah. I don't like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Was it hard having him break up with you? And I heard that he did it through your mother? Listen. Because I can't imagine my mother getting involved in <laughs> any of my breakups. That so embarrassing. Yeah. First of all, Karamo, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down to you. OK. okay. So it's 1030 at night. Uh -huh. We're arguing. We're in the kitchen. He's telling me, oh, you're texting this person. You're sneaky. You're this. You're that. I don't have time to do any of this. I'm too wrapped up into our relationship. Mm -hmm. So he calls my mother. Come get her. She has to go. I don't want to be with her anymore. <laughs> At this point, we're in the kitchen. So he grabs my crock pot and throws it <laughs> outside my crock pot. Not my the, baby not the props. Crock pot. <laughs> okay. My baby crock pot. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But he grabs my crock pot. I don't want to girl. My art department go come and get you, girl. Ooh, They're I'm sorry, be art department. Uh, okay. So he throws my crock pot outside. So now I have my mom walking past the crock pot. Why is your crock pot outside? She's on one end of me, telling me, "Let's go get your. Yeah. Let's go." Yeah. He's on the other end. Yeah, get her. Get her, let, let's go, get her out. Yeah. I don't want her anymore. Yeah. So you're willing to throw away at this time four years of a relationship that I've been totally and completely invested in. And you as my mother are gonna allow this grown ass man to disrespect me like that. So at that point, I had no choice but to leave and move out. So I went back to my parents' house. Got it, okay. So that's what caused it that mm -hmm. night. Okay then. So you moved out and how did your life change at that point? It changed drastically. Uh -huh. Um, I was very depressed. I couldn't do anything. Because it was a hard moment. Yeah, yeah. It was very, very depressing for me. Um, I ended up... Don't cry now, girl. You threw my tissue. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't cry now, girl. Let me... Don't cry now. <laughs> Let me grab it, okay? Here we I'm go. I'm sorry. Here's these. Here, it's okay, girl. I'm sorry. I'm prepared again. I'm prepared again. <laughs> okay, now I got you, just in case. Um, so it just got toxic through these suspicions. It really did. It got really toxic, and we both knew that it was getting toxic and after him throwing me out, calling my mom and everything, I did come to the conclusion that I did have to leave. Got it. it wasn't healthy for either one of us. So then how did you both end up getting back together? He initiated it. He initiated it. We were on the phone and he was like, you're my girlfriend again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just like that? Just like that. Any explanation, any apology for accusing you, any of that stuff? No. Okay. So what rules did he have for you in the relationship? Because my producer um, told me he gave you rules <laughs> at that point. I had to change my number. Oh. No social media, so I'm not on social media. I started a new job. I cannot talk to any males at my job. Um, I can't have any friends. So it's just me, my best friend, and him. Wow. So how's your intimacy since you've been back together? Um, it's rough. When's the last time you had sex? I don't know. OK. So well, I think it's time to hear Alex's side of the story, because there's two sides to every story. Please welcome Alex to the show. Have you slept with people? She told me no. We were not together, so I'm not telling you nothing. He thinks she's cheating. Oh, These women no. today, they're sneaky, no. bro. They know how to hide stuff. Them girl trips to Jamaica and Las Vegas, those ain't really girls trips. What will be found on her phone? We need to figure this out today, because I'm not going to be dealing with this no longer.
So why did you break up? He thought that I was texting other men. Um, I wasn't. So you moved out, and how did your life change at that point? It changed drastically. Uh -huh. um, I was very depressed. I couldn't do anything. It wasn't healthy for either one of us. So then how did you both end up getting back together? He initiated it. He initiated We were on the phone, and he was like, you're my girlfriend again. Uh, yeah. When was the last time y'all had sex? I don't know. Okay. So, well, I think it's time to hear Alex's side of the story, because there's two sides to every story. Please welcome Alex to the show. So how do you feel about what was just said? Um, it was a whole bunch of Yeah? Um, it was a whole bunch of Um, I really, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying I really do love her. Yeah. But I don't trust her. Got it. Um, what do you see that makes you not trust her? Text messages of unsaved numbers in her phone. Um, just think that's This thing that's Can you please stop cutting me off? No. You had to even if it's but unsaved, you, what is the messages? Is there anything that indicates that I'm talking to somebody else or indicates that I'm sleeping with somebody or anything like that just because they're unsaved? Well, That's another stipulation well, 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 well. with the, we, with the relationship we, in the breakup. Since we're gonna talk about to text save messages, numbers. Karamo, she goes on this trip to North Carolina. Yeah. And she comes back, you know, I go through her phone just out of my suspicion, you yeah. know, because after we got back to being together, it just never really felt it felt like she was holding stuff back from me. Yeah. You know, the thing was, when we come back, we be honest. Have I slept with people? Absolutely. Have you slept with people? She told me no. Got it. Okay. She told me no. But something in my stomach wasn't sitting right with me. Mm -hmm. She goes to the bathroom one night. I go through her phone. There's a text message from a guy in North Carolina texting her coordinates to meet her. And you telling me that you didn't you didn't have sex with anybody, and you're telling me that uh, what I'm viewing is, but this number wasn't saved. Number one, that's my biggest stipulation. Number two, he gave you the address. You said I'm five minutes away, and you said I was here. And get this, not only did you say I was here, after that you said I can't wait to see you again. So what was so what was so so great that you couldn't see him again? What, what, I don't understand. If you didn't do anything with somebody, then. Anyways. Oh, no, no, answer the question. I already told answer you I never question. saw him. I already told you I never saw him. So you, you mean to tell me, you, you mean to tell me you gave a guy from a whole other state but your you number. But you want to know everything you gave about a guy. A hold we up, hold together. up, wait, wait, wait. That don't we make sense. We were not sense. together, so what, why, why do I have to tell you any of this? We weren't together. So none of that means nothing. Oh, so this was all during the time when y'all were not together. Right. But Karamo, granted, we were not together. But before we came back to the relationship... He chose honesty. He chose that he wanted to tell everything. Again, <laughs> we were not together, so I'm not telling you nothing. I get that. I get that. Hence why it's so hard for me to trust you again. So I, I, so I heard you play detective. Yes. OK, yes. tell me about that. I had like 10 numbers in my phone that I took from her phone. I go to Cash App, I put the number in, and it automatically pops up with the face and the name. So now, so now, and again, again, she's saying that I chose honesty. He never told me that. I don't have to tell you By that. The way, that's just what I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let y'all know something. Never told me that. You just exposed one of our secrets here that we do. That's how we find a lot of stuff he never right told here. Me that. We go through Cash App all the time. There's a number that says unknown. We pop it in the cash app real quick, and a name when face will pop up, and then we cross reference. And then, so. and then again, I get it. You you saying I chose honesty, right? But I feel like if I'm coming back to the table after not being in a relationship with you for a year, bearing myself, putting me on the table, why can't I get that reciprocation? Again, we were not together. I'm, I don't know how many times I have to say that to you, but we were not together. So for you to feel like you had to take numbers, and we put wasn't them together, in cash but I was still having sex with you though. Karamo. These women today, they're sneaky, yeah. bro. They know how to hide stuff without anything being found. He thinks she's cheating. Are you still attracted to her? We don't have sex. Karamo, no, this is just me and the man. What will be found on her phone? Stay tuned. You are the cop. Get off my stage.
So how do you feel about what was just said? Um, it was a whole bunch of Yeah? Um, what do you see that makes you not trust her? Text messages of unsaved numbers in her phone, you know, because yeah. after we got back to being together, it just never really felt, it felt like she was holding stuff back from me. Yeah. You know, the thing was, when we come back, we be honest. And then, so, and then again, I get it. You, you saying I chose honesty, right? But I feel like if I'm coming back to the table after not being in a relationship with you for a year, bearing myself, putting me on the table, why can't I get that reciprocation? Again, we were not together. I'm, I don't know how many times I have to say that to you. We wasn't like, together, but I was still having sex with you, though. Okay. Right? And did you we not still, go to the doctors? It doesn't matter. Did we not? We were still sexually okay, active, but you lied we to me, though. We were not together, Alex. Okay. We were not together. Okay. There's a saying that you, you hit this twice, we go together. I hit that more than twice. We're still so in a relationship. What, bro? There was no title. So what are you talking about? So what? So Alex, just because we were broken up and you had sex with other people and I had sex with other people, or whether I did or didn't, you told me, and you can you can't deny this, if you have sex with other people, I'm never gonna talk to you or touch you again. So why the oh. would I tell you anything? Because at the end of the day, you're there wrong, no, right? Yes, it I mean, is. Yes, no it is. If you ask there's me, no end of the day. If, if the shoe was on the other foot and you asked me, Alex, we're I, at the beginning of the day. It the doesn't end of the matter. Day doesn't matter. Yo, stop we're cutting not, me off, we're not. See, this is one of the we're reasons. Not. This is one of the reasons too because why. Because you feel like everything why you we're here. is right, but it be. I understand and it don't that. Make sense. It's always because you're cutting me off, and you never get to hear the fruition of what I'm saying. Can I talk? No. I, no. So no. how could I ever get a solution? How could I ever feel like because you trust me Because there is not going to be any... How? You don't trust me! Why don't I? You don't trust me? I put all my trust in you. Whether or not you slept with a Tom, Dick, Harry, Jane, Jane Doe or not. We were not together. So if you want to do that, do you, boo. Do you. But does when she... we get back together, all of that has to go. Which is what I did. And you can't respect that. But I didn't it wasn't make you, enough. I didn't... Of, it wasn't of course enough. Not. It's never gonna be it enough. It wasn't enough. It's never gonna be enough. So when is enough going to be enough? Ooh. I don't know. You tell me. I'm so stuck on stupid right. for you. Who do, right. when do I have time to be with anybody else? Are you still attracted to her? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. right. Absolutely. Yeah, right. What drove you to the point of breaking up the first time and why tell her mother? Well, first and foremost, I'm very connected to her mother. Um, my brother dates her sister. Okay. So got it. I wanted her to know how serious I was with her. So I said, I'm going to call your mom. But my mother. I'm going to call <laughs> your mom. We're in high school. Karamo, listen, it's better than me. It's better than me screaming, yelling, somebody mistakenly pushed somebody, and I'm in jail. So you can well, say you what you want. you could have sat down as a man. We are grown, bro. You asking we're me grown. to sit down. We you asking sit down me to sit down, but we're sitting down right we now, and I can't even get a word in. You picked up the phone, and you called my mother. I can't mother. even get a word in. We're and sitting down right now, but I can't even get a word in. Because that can is I get a so word? weird. A word. That's a so word. weird. Your word a word. A word. A word. Karamo, these women today, they're sneaky, bro. They know how to hide stuff. They know how to hide stuff without without anything being found. They know that, and y'all know it's true. That's why y'all saying that. Them, gir them girl trips, them girl trips to Jamaica and Las Vegas, those ain't really girls' trips. Those is whole trips. Those is what those are. So. Karamo, I, got, I, I gave y'all my phone, because we need to figure this out today, because yeah. I'm not going to be dealing with this no longer. I got it. I got it before At I... All. Because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to unlock the phone. I'm about to unlock your phone so that we can get to clear this. But I want to know something, because I wrote down here, and I want you to see this. I wrote down past trust issues. Has your heart been broken before? Absolutely. Did someone, did someone break your trust? Absolutely. What was your last relationship like before this? I was cheated on. I was lied to. And I tried to overlook certain situations that I just couldn't overlook anymore. And it just pushed me to be by myself. I never really healed. I can tell. You I know what tell. I'm saying? I, I don't say that, like, in a rude way, but I can, you I know, like, really I can healed. just... But like I said, I love love, so I felt like being around her when we first got together it was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. You know, I really love her. You know, she made me forget about everything that I was going through. Got and it. I love her now, got but it. I'm not stupid. Got it. Okay. I'm not doing anything. Right. Right is right. All right, well, it's time to unlock the phone. <laughs> Don't go away. Because one phone unlocked will change everything. Karamo, I have a confession. Okay. Stay tuned.
Are you still attracted to her? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. right. I wrote down here, and I want you to see this. I wrote down past trust issues. Has your heart been broken before? Absolutely. Did someone, did someone break your trust? Absolutely. What was your last relationship like before this? I was cheated on. I was lied to. Did you know about this past relationship that he never healed from? Yeah, but he bases our relationship off our relationship off of most of his past relationship. I'm not doing anything. It's time to get to the truth of all of this. All right, well, it's time to unlock Janiah's phone. All right, so Alex wanted to search Janiah's GPS to see if there was any suspicious activity. Janiah said there is not. My unlock the phone investigator searched her GPS and found two suspicious pins. She was pinned at two different hotels in the state where you live. Alex, you want to know if Janiah had any social media apps on her phone. She said she deleted them all. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched Janiah's apps, and she is not telling the truth. Bro, she has Snapchat, on, TikTok, and Twitter downloaded on her phone. Come on. I'm overreacting, though, right? Absolutely. Alex, Alex <laughs> wants to know if Jan Janiah was communicating with any other men. She said she is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched Janiah's text, and she is not telling the truth. We found over, we found girl, over 1,000 interactions with, a, with someone named no, 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 that no, were deleted no, no, no. from the phone. No, 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 no. OK. No, no, no. So let me, we, let me be clear. We found, Alex, because I need you to be clear on this. We found over 1,000 interactions with <laughs> deleted from her phone. Shut up. Um, oh, now I gotta shut up. So, is actually a female at my job. Her name is. So why and is it you, deleted though? It's not deleted. If you, if it was deleted, how could they find it? They just said they. Yeah, they were deleted. So what are you how. talking about? But anyways, if you click on the. It could be, it could be if anybody. You click on like, the get out of here. message. You said it wasn't none. Belly. Look at that. Oh there's my gosh. two there. There's three there. There's a the thousand GPS? there. What are you talking about? Do we have so, the GPS and do we have yeah. the apps? Who is who's who? Is the person who I am suspecting her of cheating on me with. And the reason why I say cheating is because even though we wasn't in a relationship, we were still in each other's face. You came to all my performances. We were still sexually active. You was cheating on me. Period. So is, is, is there any way that this... Is there any way that this... Is there any way that this could be... No, that is a female. Okay. Um, and we talk all the time. We actually have a group chat with two other people Got that it. he actually had a problem with because it was new numbers from people from my job. Actually, the that he's talking about was with an old phone number. Okay. On an old phone. Um, Karamo, I have a confession. Okay. So, before finding out that you guys were cousins, I did sleep with oh. And this is the person that you had questions about? The person I had questions about, this is like my cousin. You want to know, and you asking me who we're having, I'm having sex with? I don't know the many people you had sex with. So what Did you does ask? matter? When you had Why sex, do I have to ask? When you had sex with embarrassing. you were not together. No. Karoma, but it was an insecurity you, of yours. No, we were not. Karoma, if you're broken up in a relationship, that means broken. No communication, we were no sex, up. no nothing. We were broken she was up. still sleeping in my bed. She was still so in my what? face. You were still she was still driving sex. my car. And we in were still same having bed. sex. In but that guess same what? Bed. She knew in I was having bed. sex, though. OK, so what? I didn't have you in my bed, in the bed that I was having sex in. You had me in your bed, in the bed that you were having it's sex in. It's my house. Wow, and we were broken up. Can I? Can I tell y'all something? Can I tell y'all something right now? You are so up and down. Can I tell y'all something? Let him talk. Y'all both said each other, y'all don't have to deal with this. And it's the truth. Y'all don't have to deal with it. Those Y'all kept saying that. You don't have to deal with this. You don't have to deal with this. You don't have to deal with this. You both know right now that this is unhealthy and needs to end. Mm -hmm. And that's what the truth of this matter is. So are you ready to break up for your breakthrough? I didn't come here to break up with her. I didn't come here to do that. I just came here to get answers. And this, this, this not, this, 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 this okay. is not what I want to do, man. I'm going to ask you to choose your own sanity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to choose your own mental health. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to choose your own heart and sanity, mm -hmm. okay? Because at this point, if he doesn't want to break up, that's him. But you know that mm -hmm. this is not right. No, it's not healthy. What do you want to do? I'm not staying in this cycle. So you decided mm -hmm. to break up.
Listen, it's the healthiest choice for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. I wish you the best of luck. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for being with us. Make sure to come back, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. Remember, I love you all.